Welcome to another Volvo video, my 2003 Volvo XC90 and in this video I've got a problem with the parking brake show you what the problem is now it's a uh, 10 to 10 at night so I won't be doing any work but I'll show you what the what the issue is parking brake no resistance whatsoever so I'm, I'm assuming the, the cable somewhere has snapped now that says I did have a quick look earlier on see if I can find anything obvious but I'm just gonna have to strip all this Centre console down to see exactly where, where you know where the cable has snapped. That's all it can be. I don't think the parking brake shoes have been destroyed because I'd uh, I'd hear some scraping coming from the wheel. So it's looking like a, a snapped cable somewhere. So I'll just order some new cables and then once I've got them, I can start tearing everything down. See if I can find out where the snap cable is. It's now the next day, so I can start uh, digging a bit deeper. So what I need to do is I need to remove this centre console. And it's actually in two parts, so I just come out the back. Uh, this rear section is easy to remove. As a, I don't know if you can see that as a, a lever, you just pull. And the entire rear half of the centre console comes out, so I'll just pull this out completely and put this to one side and then there's this, this panel this, this needs to come out and now I've got a, a suitable trim tool here so it's just a matter of prising it out let's have a look let's have a look should have a should have a suitable trim tool I'll try this trim to layer this one. might be a bit easier there we go it just it just clips it clips in and we'll put that to one side as well and it exposes a few uh, I think the T20 screws and just check yep the T20s so I've got no it's not them two it's them two there there's also two at the front so I need to go up front and I need to uh, just remove a few more stuff out of the way. Get that out of the way. That's me, I uh, FM transmitter. So this needs to be uh, separated. So the use of the trim tool just pops up and move these items out of the way as well. Just get this little lot out of the way. And then I need to lift this out and I need to uh, separate this as well it's a bit, a bit hard to do this one-handed so let's see there's, there's tabs that need need releasing there you go just push the tabs in Really difficult to do one handed. So there's a couple at the back. And hopefully that should free up the rest of these. There we go. And then this could come out. I don't even have to uh, move the uh, transmission lever and put that to one side. And there's your other two screws that need to be removed. But before I do that, there's some side panels here. I'm just get my leg out of the way. These side panels need to come out. I'll just push that lever out of the way. You can see it just there's just absolutely no resistance at all. So what makes me think a cable snapped somewhere. So I just put the pull that out and I'll need to remove the one at the other side. 
down here. Just clips it, just pops off like so. So move that out of the way. And then once we've got the, got these screws out, this entire centre col console should come out. So that says it shows you the two at the front and two at the back. And once they're out, it should expose the all the cable in for the parking brake. So I'll continue removing all these screws and I'll come back to you. So with the, with the screws out, it should be just a matter of uh, lifting up this centre console and it should come, come out. Of course, that's the theory, but I need to be careful because there's some, some wires that can, do, can easily be damaged. I think I'm going to have to move this gear lever. Put it into a, put it into neutral. But because I've no parking brake, the vehicle might roll, so I'll just need to wear. You have support from the dedicated tutors every step of the way. Now, put it in the drive. Just turn the radio off. Yep, knew the vehicle had moved forward. That says it with no parking brake. Okay, this is a, just a bit hard doing this one-handed. There shouldn't be anything stopping this. So I don't know how this is going to come out. I told you, there's just two screws at the front and two at the rear. And it should come out. That's what the other YouTube videos do. What to say? Clearly, there's something else stopping it. So, I'm just to come back to you. As you can see, there's a couple more screws here. They need to come out as well, by the looks of it. So, I think I'm going to have to. And they're they're feeling quite loose. So, I don't know. These are going to go back in. So I'll just finish getting them two out and then see if that uh, liberates the console. So the console is finally liberated and it was them last two screws that go in there. So you got to, and I did get sidetracked by, I dropped a screw down here and when I took one up front ones out, I dropped it down, it went all the way down so I had to pull this seat out, which is only for 40 mil bolts. <laughs> and then you just got these uh, connectors to remove from the console and then we're all gravy. So right, okay, it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see uh, where this cable's broken. So I'm gonna operate the pedal. Yeah, well that's confirmed it. That's not moved at all. So this cable here is broken. So that makes my job 10 times easier. So I don't need to replace these left and uh, right hand cables because there's a break in somewhere between here and, and the pedal. So I've got that on order at Champion Motor Spares. Big shout out to them. Uh, it means I don't have to go underneath the car and change them, uh, the, t the two cables that go to the wheels. So at least at least the problem's confirmed and it's uh, it's not so bad news. So good news is they've got the, the part in stock. I've just come off phone to Champion Motor Spares, told them I only need the, the front cable. Uh, so it's going to be uh, go over to uh, Champion Motor Spares in Bradford. So an hour and a half later, I've got the new cable. Um, cost me 40 quid. It's not bad. So it's just a matter of uh, extracting this old one out. And they, which is uh, down there. And I'll have, what I'll have to do is uh, I'll, I need to loosen the cable so I can separate it from, from here. And then I can get that end out. I'm not sure how, where the other end of this, this cable goes. It's just a bit awkward because I'm uh, this side of the vehicle's against the wall, but uh, I'll, I'll either just have to manage or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this goes. I don't know whether the cable goes feeds right through to here. It's going to be really awkward. 
but I don't think it attaches to that end. I'll probably just have to do a bit of checking up, see what goes where. Uh, I did watch a, a YouTube video, so I'll take a look at that and see how this uh, this front cable comes out. Comes out. So good news is I managed to get the the entire footwell carpet out, and that gives me all the access I need to remove this uh, parking brake lever assembly. So I'm not sure what size bolts they are. I think I think the fourteens. Uh, same as see see. Seat bolts. Uh, I think they're about si same size as seat bolts, so I should be able. No, that's the ten. That's the ten I used to remove the amp the amplifier. Let's have a look. See if it's a is a fourteen. No, it's not fourteen. Smaller than the fourteen, so I need to undo them too. And then there's a nut here. Which is definitely not a 14 neither, and there's, ah, there's the end of the, uh, the uh, wire for the, the cable for the parking brake. So, it's just a matter of, and I think, that's a, that could be, that could be the, yeah, that's a release mechanism for the, for the lever. But yeah, it's, it's this cable that's a problem, and this, this whole assembly needs to come out so I'm thinking that's actually a 13 and then I've got to find, find the other end of the cable see where that goes in fact I might not even need to remove the, remove this uh, assembly but I think it'd make the job easier if I, if I did pull the if I did a uh, release this yeah it doesn't it will make the job a bit easier we've come this far so a bit more disassembly is not gonna hurt and with that the the levers are liberated uh the bolts were were 12 and the nut there was a 13 so that's just med life a little bit of a e little bit easier when just connecting this parking brake now this is interesting because i couldn't pull the cable out it, it just come out and I don't think the cable's actually. I don't think the cable's actually snapped. I think, I think it just come off the lever. Yeah, I think it just came off. So no damage. So looks like I don't need to replace this cable after all. So just a reassembly. So I just I think it just it just came unhooked. Oh, which is fortunate. But I can always, I can always return the part. I thought it was a snap, but but I'll just prove it to you. I'll, I'll pull on the end of the cable. You should see, pull it. So look, see, the cable's moving. So if I get hold of that end, pull it. Nothing wrong with cable at all. So there's not a problem. I can I can return that. I don't need it. So no no problems. They're very good at champion boat spare. So I'll just take it back here tomorrow. So. Oh, this is going to be a free fix. So, we all, we love free in Yorkshire, so I just have to button it all back up again. So, with the, with the seat and everything uh, all put back together, I just need to tension this parking brake cable. So, I think it's one, two clicks, and then just pull this, this bit out. I've on the cable back, so the slots exposed and I'll be able to put the circlet back in which is here so it's just a matter of uh, pulling this out using pliers or a sim similar sort of implement That's a, I showed this in part 10 so I'll put a link to that if anybody's interested in how to do that and I'll uh, I better I'll recheck in just to make sure I'm, I'm doing it right and then it's just a matter of putting the centre console back together and then uh, test it, see if I fixed it. So I've just uh, read up on the ends, it says one notch. So release it. One notch and then adjust the uh, cable from there. And then it should be all, it should be all gravy. Got it all buttoned up, I've tested it out. Um, pack it's, parking brake's working like it is before, so. That was uh, quite an easy fix, no parts required, as I even would say on Pinehall Auto Diagnostics. 
so a confirmed fix there hope you enjoyed this video as ever thanks for watching and i'll see you